Hi, MTV Cribs. Welcome to my closet. Come on in. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've always wanted to do that. And if you say that you don't, you're either lying or you're too young. But anyways, as I just said, and as the title of the video says, this is a closet tour today. Um, this closet was part of why um, I bought this house. This closet sold me this house. Partly, not all of it, but it was a big part of it because I just like the layout of it. I like how a little bit dramatic it is. Um, sadly, no, this closet is not full of a bunch of expensive stuff as much as I, I would like it to be sometimes. But there is some really cool uh, stuff in here that um, I've worked really hard for and I want to show you guys today. Um, now, I will be honest, though, uh, I did have another video planned for, the, for today. I am not a tech guru whatsoever um and i accidentally deleted that video so <laughs> but this the this uh video to do a closet tour was on my list so i just had to kind of change it up a little bit for today so but anyways um don't worry i'm gonna take you off my tripod so you guys can get in here and get a closer look and i'll like point out some stuff that i really like in here and show you guys a close-up of some of the cooler stuff that I have. So anyways, um, let's get started. Okay guys, so starting out, I'm standing in the doorway to my closet. Um, my closet is in my bathroom, so it's just like tile floor, and then it goes straight into my closet. Um, so my closet is 12 feet tall, so it is pretty tall. You'll notice there's like three separate racks of this closet, um, but that's what kind of I don't know, it makes it a little bit dramatic because it looks a little bit less in video, but in person you can definitely get the feel of how tall it is. Um, on this side, I just have some shoes, um, some perfumes, makeup brushes, and stuff like that. I'm um, in the red box. There's a pair of Valentino shoes that I bought. Um, if you guys recognize that orange box right there, that's actually from my first video on YouTube. It, that's where my hand towels came in. Um, and that, that's a laptop case where my 2008 Mac MacBook Pro is actually kept and it still works just fine, actually. I've had it for years. Um, oh, this dress is kind of poking out right now. Um, this side I have kind of more casual dresses, jackets, um, heavier coats up there. I have more dress up clothes, mostly dresses. That's a little romper right there though. Um, that I don't wear very often. So these are more casual dresses. That's more dressy dresses. Up there, there's some crop tops, but mostly skirts and shorts. Um, those bags are empty. They're just kind of there for decorative purposes. Um, more shorts um, and skirts, more shorts and skirts. On this side, um, I have kind of more expensive clothing items at the very top. Um, some not, some that I just don't wear very often. Um, so I, I kind of put them up there um, and just these are all my kind of everyday tops color coordinated um, Same thing everyday tops color coordinated um, Pants on this side Well, mostly jeans honestly um, And then like sweaters and sweatshirts and stuff like that on that side um, Some bags over here and a lot of like little sunglasses and stuff like that um, this bag I just kind of keep around another kind of decorative per uh, purpose, but there is a bag back behind there. Um, this is actually kind of cool. It's a Prada water bottle. This I bought from the Prada website. Um, that, it actually came in a bag and a box. Of course, you know, they put the water bottle and put that in the big old bag. And um, I got this water bottle. Let me see if I can open it for you guys real quick and I'll show you. Me just a second okay and ooh, that's what the water bottle looks like it does have there it is the little just Prada logo at the bottom it's got like a little clip on there I don't know I just thought it was really cool honestly so I bought that um and it does actually come with its little like authenticity card you can hear it kind of jiggling in there but it's in there as well um what else on this side, another purse, the very viral kind of TikTok purse, the Kate Spade little heart-shaped purse. I had to get it. I think it's really cute. And actually, I think it's very well made um, for a Kate Spade purse. And these boxes are all just kind of decorative as well, too. Um, 
that I've collected over over the years. That's a Neiman Marcus um, box and some Saks um, Fifth Avenue boxes. Um, that is not a real uh, Bottega purse. It's from Amazon, but it looks pretty nice. Just like almost like the real thing. Not quite, but um, this is really kind of interesting. It's not clothing related or anything like that, but I really like it. It's a little model car of one of my favorite cars in the entire world that I hope to have uh, one of these days, but it's an NSX little car model that one of these days <laughs> I will hopefully put together. Um, over here is one of my favorite pairs of shoes. They're, as you can see by the box, they're Jimmy Choo's. Let me show you guys. And these I bought on a trip to Vegas. But aren't these just stunning? They're, oops, give me a second. Um, a closed toe shoe, pointed, um, very gently used. I've only used them maybe twice. Um, haven't really used them very often. So, but they're just, I think they are a stunning, stunning shoe. Um, so just keep them in their box. Um, in that big box, Neiman Marcus box, I just have a pair of, believe it or not, Uggs. <laughs> They're just like your brown um, standard Uggs, nothing special, honestly. So yeah, that's what's in, in this box over here. Um, that's the Jimmy Choo's. Way down here, I'm the type of person that doesn't like to throw away um, bags because I think they're they're pretty because like, notice this Victoria's Secret bag. I think, I don't know, I thought it was pretty, so <laughs> I kept it. I usually keep them until I com become completely bored of them and then I just finally throw them away, but that's kind of it on this side. Oh, and you guys are probably wondering how the heck I reach those clothes up there. So I have this little thing. So it's just kind of like, I don't know about you, but if you grew up in like the swap meets and stuff like that, and the vendor would have to go all the way up there and grab the clothes, it's the same exact little, oop, <laughs> I dropped it. It's the same exact little tool. I bought it at Beth, Bed Bath & Beyond. I think it was only like $12. It wasn't very expensive at all. So that is how I reach my clothes. And it's very long. You can make it a little bit longer um, as you need. So yeah, it's a very tall stick. But that is how I reach my clothes. Oh, I forgot. I also have some Louboutins. Um, some gold jewelry. I've had this bracelet for a long, long time. Ever since I was a little girl. Of course, my parents bought it for me. And this quote I actually got from one of my packages. Oh, I don't remember what. Maybe the outlet? Oh, I don't remember. But I just really liked it, so I put it back here. So it says, the world needs fantasy, not reality. We have enough reality today. And that was Alexander McQueen that said that. So I just thought it was really cool. Um, and that's kind of it, honestly. Um, like I said, mostly shoes on this side. Some bags over here on this side. And mostly sunglasses and stuff. So that's kind of it. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed my little closet tour. I was just going to mention a couple of things. Like some little tips and tricks of organizing your closet. I know mine could be better. I think there's just a lot of stuff in here, but um, I like my stuff. <laughs> um, but one little tip I could say is that get matching hangers. Um, whether it be different styles of hanger, you could still have, let me get from this side, it might be easier. You could still have hangers that look the same. So notice different style, but same um, silver hardware and black velvet. So that will make your closet look a little bit neater as well too. And another little tip for um, hanging clothes, these are children's hangers that I use for like my pants, my jeans that you guys, guys saw down here. Um, they don't hang like the like adult hangers do because they're so much longer. Um, so notice the difference, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so notice the difference of the size of the uh, children's hanger to the adult hanger because of course the adult hanger goes all the way over here. Um, this will help so they don't hang down as much. So it'll make your pants look a little bit neater. So um, if you can hang your um, pants on children's plastic hangers and it just looks a lot neater than the longer ones that tend to have a lot of hanging down here. So um, just a little tip and trick that you guys might find helpful. Um, and you guys might be curious, I figured after I, I stop recording, you guys might be curious 
about the Valentino shoes um, that I mentioned because um, another one of my favorite pairs of shoes. So this is what they look like. Um, they look very similar actually to the ones that, oh, whatever, <laughs> that are very popular right now that have like the really big platform because um, even notice like the heel right there, they look very similar in model to the, those platform, one, platform ones. Um, these are just not the platform one, platform ones, my God. Um, and I've never worn these actually, they're, they're still brand, brand new. Um, and I bought these, oh gosh, probably like five years ago. <laughs> I don't remember. It's been a while though. And I'm glad, you know, they're still in style. Well, are in style minus the, the platform. So those my, are my Valentino shoes. Um, and I'll go ahead and also show you the Dior shoes that I have in just a second. Again, just another pair of classic um, black shoes. The Valentinos, of course, you notice those are black kind of velvet um, suede. And these are just like a shiny black material that have this really kind of pretty wavy detail. Um, so these are my Dior shoes that I really like also. And um, believe it or not, um, I have not paid um, retail for, oh gosh, probably about 80% of these. The Valentino shoes and the Jimmy Choo's I got at the outlet mall. Um, the Valentino's came from the outlet mall in California in, oh, I forget what it's called, um, but it's got like the really big luxury stores. Those where those came from. The Jimmy Choo's came from the Las Vegas outlet mall. Um, this Burberry sweatshirt also came from the Las Vegas um, outlet mall. And you guys, when you guys are even sh shopping in the outlet malls, don't be scared to ask them for like a hanger or a box or something. And usually, you know, if you're nice, they'll be really nice and they'll give you a plastic hanger also for, for your stuff. So, um, but yeah, um, I got, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below for me. Um, if not, I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.